Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings, and today we're going to do a little DIY holiday gift idea, which, you know, it may seem a little intimidating, but actually it's really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, first of all, I'm going to show you what we did. So this is what I made. I made little wine goblets, decorated the base of them, and put um, my aunt's name on it. I have paper inside so you can see. Um, but I mean, this looks intimidating thinking that you can paint this onto a glass, but actually it is so easy. So I made this one for one of my aunts with cute little bubbles all around it. See, no real drawing is required with this. I made that one. And then I made a little yellow and green one, decorated the base of it. So that turned out cute. And then if your person doesn't drink wine, I made a coffee mug. Once again, I'll put the paper inside so you can see it. And that is my mother-in-law. She drinks coffee. And I decorated the handle with cute little, cute little red hearts. It's very basic, but had painted her name onto it. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. Try to do some close-ups at the same time. First of all, you're going to need tin foil for your paints, a clean wine glass, and um, when I mean clean, I mean I put it, I washed it by hand with soap and water, and then I took alcohol on just a regular little cotton pad and wiped off all of the fingerprints because paint won't stick if you have fingerprints on the glass, the oil from your fingers, so the paint won't stick. So you rub it down with alcohol and then let it dry. Don't touch the outside of the glass. And with that in mind, you're going to want to wear rubber gloves when you handle your, um, handle your wine glass so that you don't get oil on the wine glass itself or your coffee mug, whichever you're going to do. Now I bought these. These are really good quality wine glasses. They're pretty heavy. They're nice size. I got them at the dollar store for a dollar a piece. So I got all these for a dollar and then they had the clear coffee mug also for a dollar. Then I went to Michael's Craft Store and bought folk art paint and it's enamel. And if you read on the back, these actually say for glass and ceramic. So I got these in, you know, a ton of different colors. And I believe they ran about $2.29 per bottle. But, I mean, you'll have these for a long time. So it's, it's worth the investment. Then, you're definitely going to want some of these. Black for sure. But these are the, um, they're made by Craft Smart. They are paint pens. And I got them in several different colors. Now, the pink ones don't adhere to glass for some reason very well. But the primary colors, like the blacks and the reds, they stick very well. For some reason, the pastels are very kind of transparent. They're not as opaque. But the black goes on really nice. But I got, I mean, I have green, silver, gold, white, red, and I think it's a pink already. Then I bought a pack, one pack for $7.99. I got a pack of all different size paintbrushes, and they're the nylon tips. These are made out of nylon, and um, that's what they recommend. I'm not saying that it works any better than any other type of paintbrush, so I got the tape on them. But um, I got these, and, and so far they work pretty well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the next mug I'm going to be making is for my, my mom. Her name is Carol, and you know, you would think... Putting the names on is really difficult, but it's not. What you're going to do, uh, find a really cute font that you like that you're going to want to put on the glass. Now, I'm using one called Curly's, C-U-R-L-Y-Z. So you print it off the size that you want and, you know, and try it out in your wine glass, make sure it's the right size. And we're just going to trace right onto the glass. So you're going to want to put a piece of tape on both ends and you're going to want to slide it into your glass where you're going to want the name to appear. Push the name right out on the outside of the glass, making sure it's straight. And before I start touching my glass, I need to put some gloves on. 
surgical gloves. Okay, so now I won't get grease on uh, oil from my hands onto the wine glass. So let's go ahead and get started. This one uh, for my mom, I'm going to do try to do it in black, gold, and silver. A little bit more sophisticated, I guess. So, first of all, let's shake them up. Pink pens. Push down, and you'll get a bunch of ink onto the end of your paint pen. Now, all we're going to do now is just trace over the current picture we have on the other side of the glass. And make sure you hold your glass the same way while you're tracing. Because since you're looking through glass from different angles, the letters look like they're in a different place. So you need to make sure you stay consistent as to how you look at your glass so that you don't distort your letters. I always start with the let, um, since I am right-handed, I always start with the letter to the far left because otherwise your hand's gonna wipe across, your hand will wipe across it. And you'll be able to touch it up after you take the picture, uh, the picture out of the inside of your glass. Now, so you can see how that turned out. And so I can see how it turned out because you really can't tell because you have the picture behind it. Take out your tape. And now, let me put the paper behind it. See, name Carol. Now's the fun part. You got the name on there. As soon as it dries, you can go back and touch up any open areas that you may not have traced very well with. Let it dry and then go back and then put another coat on it. Um, any spots that might not be completely straight or if, you know, if you have a little spot that didn't catch the paint, you can go back after it's dried and put another coat on it. So now, next step. Bogart Metallic Gold Paint. It's for glass and acrylic. And I'm going to start off. I'm going to take the bigger brush and I'm going to paint the base of my wine glass. Let's paint it gold. This paint it on. Now the one thing that I learned from doing the first two, uh, first two wine glasses, watch your brush strokes. Because even though people will say, you know, that you can always put a second coat on, it'll cover your brush strokes, huh? I found that out. If you have brush strokes, Make sure your brush strokes are all going in the same direction because it is hard to, to cover them nice and neat. So go around the base of the mug. And I'm going around in circles, just trying to get rid of my brush strokes or at least get them to a minimum. And then work my way up the handle. You cannot put a second coat on until it has dried because then otherwise all you're doing is actually removing the paint. When you paint on top of wet paint, it actually will actually rub off your first coat, so you have to let it dry. So I painted this down on my just a basic gold, and I'll decorate it. It looks kind of boring right now. I will decorate it. So now let's go ahead and make some polka dots. Now you don't want to wash your brush with water in the middle of your painting because the water will actually um, water down your paint if you water it on your paint, it won't adhere to the glass. So don't use water. If you re want to reuse the same brush, take a sheet of paper or paper towel and just run the ink off of it or the paint off it so you have no more paint on it. You can do that. Or, like me, I'm going to just get another paintbrush out. And I don't want to use black. I'm going to do silver. Just a little small little paintbrush. And now, I'm going to paint silver polka dots. Now all I do is just put my paintbrush down. It's so hard to have this close up for you to see it. Hopefully you can see this. I just put my, put my paintbrush down and I just spin it in my fingers. Just spin it. I'm going to make several silver. I'm going to go back and make several gold. 
polka dots and then I'm going to outline every one of them in black. So I made a mistake. Now if you make a mistake, don't fret it. All it takes, if you catch it when it's wet, you can just wipe it right off. If you don't catch it when it's wet, this paint, until it dries, can be removed with al rubbing alcohol. I gotta let the alcohol dry. So, this is what I've got so far. I just put little polka dots all around with the name on it. I'm gonna let that dry and because I'm gonna dress up those polka dots a little bit more and then I'm also going to put another coat on the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a while. I'm gonna put my second coat on and I'll probably let it sit till tomorrow and then do my touching up tomorrow after it's dried and to go ahead and go back over all your details to give them a more vibrant color and then we'll be done. So I will see you tomorrow. Well, I couldn't wait. I went ahead and put the second coat on tonight and then we'll bake it tomorrow. <clears throat> but I want to show you what I did. I, well, I'll get the paper behind it again. <laughs> so I did the silver and white polka dots and then I put little red, I don't know if you see it, little red hearts all over it. And then I decorated the base with some little designs on the gold. So I've got it the way I want it to look. I've got the polka dots and little hearts all over it. So my next step, tomorrow morning when I wake up, I am going to set this on a cookie sheet. I'm going to set it on the cookie sheet in the uh, bottom rack of my oven. I'm going to put it in right away with a cold oven. I'm going to turn my oven on to 350, preheat the oven, and I'm going to have this in there for 30 minutes after it's preheated. Then I'm going to leave it in the oven. I'm going to open the oven door, leave it in there until it cools, and then it's set. The paint won't come off. You'll be able to put it in the dishwasher uh, on the top shelf of your dishwasher, but you'll be able to put, put it in the dishwasher. And I just think this is such a cute idea for a gift. Isn't that? And you can personalize it any way that you want. So it's as easy as that. And I have myself a new wine glass as a gift for someone on my Christmas list. Now, if you're having a hard time getting good pigmentation on your polka dots, the nice thing is, is if you do the first, first coat, in a, with the paintbrush with the liquid paints. Then after it's dried, if you want to make it even darker, you can go back and then use your paint pens on top of the paint that you currently have on there. Now the paint pens by themselves, other than the black and the red, all the rest of the colors, first coats don't go on very well. They go on very translucent. So I recommend putting your first coat on with the paintbrush and the solid paint. If you want to clean it up and make it look nicer, you can use your second coat with the paint pens. Uh, but you do have to dab a lot to make sure you got enough paint on the end uh, while you're painting. But the paint pens are much easier and you can get a nice, um, nice straight line. Now, heads up, I drank Starbucks the whole time I was painting this. And by the time I got down to doing my second coat tonight, late tonight, my hands were shaking so bad from so much caffeine. Don't drink caffeine when you're doing this project. Not a good idea. So, tomorrow morning, I'm just going to pop this in the oven and then it's done. Now, if you're not comfortable putting this in the oven, if that makes you too nervous, what you can do is cured after 21 days. So if you have 21 days, you can let it sit out for 21 days and dry, and it'll be cured. And then you can still put it in the dishwasher. This matters on how much of a hurry you're in. If you're in a big hurry, put it in the oven. If you're not in a hurry and you have the 21 days, just let it sit on a shelf and dry for 21 days. Well, this is Amy of Fashion Toppings with another holiday gift idea. Until next time, you have a great day.